Hello, welcome back to my channel, Pavin's Tarot. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm really sorry that I haven't done some readings for a long time. I think it's almost one or two months, but I was quite busy working. And um, yeah, I will uh, do tonight a royal reading, uh, not one. I will do uh, several ones. And um, sometimes I think the royal family is just there to entertain us. And it's uh, quite funny. And um, I will start with the docu series with Megan and Harry, because um, uh, some of you watched it. I suppose I have not watched. I saw only clips from other YouTubers and so on. I don't have Netflix because I don't waste my time uh, watching binge watching kind of series and so on. So I'm not the audience for that. But never mind. I got the glimpse or the gist of the story. And my first question tonight is the docu-series The Truth. And I will start with Harry. Is he telling the truth in the docu-series? So I have shuffled the cards. I will cut the cards now and then I will see what Harry's truth is and if it's um, uh, mirrored in the series. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, it is his truth. He, uh, Harry, is telling the truth somehow. But I will look a bit deeper into it now. The sun in the middle, the healing card. The strength, energy. It's uh, actually, these are really two good cards in a reading. Two major arcanas, the knight of pentacles. Below that is the king of pentacles. And above that is the Two of Swords, Indecision. Actually, these cards are really good for Harry. And I will come to that. Three more, Page of Swords, The Fool, and the Two of uh, Wands. I will come to that in a second. So, all actually positive cards. You could say the Two of Swords could be a bit of a negative card. I hope you can see the cards. I will try to make it like this so i will put it like this so the sun is very good uh, aspected with the strength and also the knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles so let's see let's start with the elements we have air here we have earth here earth then here is again air and fire what's missing is emotions this whole series he's done, uh, doing he comes over as emotional but with pentacles P Pentacles is grounded and also being down to earth. What Harry is speaking in this uh, series is his truth or how he perceives the truth. And um, one thing I want just to mention directly. Okay, we have three major arcanas in a small reading. Uh, very profound things are going on. Here are two uh, uh, cards. The sun is a healing card and below, below, uh, behind that is strength. So he has the power to heal himself. And if he is still in therapy, he should continue from my reading because he's healing. Somehow this whole process of this docu-series is kind of a healing process. It's like helping him to heal his wounds, scars, anything what happened to him. And also uh, money is coming his way. Could be that the money is coming through the docu series that they ha that he because the king of pentacles with the ten of pentacles actually is the highest uh, money card you can get in a reading and he is also the knight of pentacles so they are making he himself is making a lot of money with this uh, docu series but he's also healing and here he is indecisive what he is indecisive indec about it's somehow the healing process he himself is thinking if this what approach he is taking is the right one so that's how and he is you could say he is also thorn between the sun you could say is also the royal family with here at the king uh, of pentacles uh, below that and here the knight of pentacles somehow he is still not sure he hasn't cut through through the links to the royal family anyway that's how i read the cards this is all my own uh, uh, interpretation every card reader has different uh, interpretations it's how 
you know, they uh, read the cards. This is my reading. It's only for entertainment pur uh, purposes. I have no information uh, uh, except the one, uh, one, uh, the ones I get in the media. So the same you have maybe because I'm not related. I don't have any friends or family or any uh, uh, people who are uh, working in the royal household. Nobody. So I don't have any. Um, uh, uh, information regarding from that quarter but here it seems like he is still a bit indecisive regarding the royal family and also his healing process here what I see page of swords is the pupil normally somebody who's learning then in the fool the fool is starting a new adventure do you know what I think he will go abroad the two of wands as soon as his healing process is over, kind of over, I don't mean like um, with some things which happened in your family or so, you can't heal from that in a way that you, you know, everything is forgotten, but you can uh, process it differently, you know, like um, having learned how to deal with that. And uh, here it's like, he will start a new adventure abroad. I wouldn't be surprised if he would go to Africa. That's how I see it here. But he, his version, what he's portraying in the Netflix documentary is his truth. I will do some more, a couple of other readings. So, but this is for Harry and it looks very uh, positive for him actually. So I will now do a second reading and it's again about the docu-series and this is now Megan's truth. If it is the truth or yeah, what's uh, happening with her in this docu-series, what she's telling and what she's complaining about, what happened and uh, what, um, you know, she wants to get out of that, uh, the docu-series. And I will see now, uh, is this Megan's truth, what he's what she is talking about in the docu-series. So one second, I will quickly still shuffle the cards. So, Megan's Truth docu-series. So, I will cut the cards. And let's see what Megan's Truth is. Oh, she's out for a fight, the Knight of Swords. She's just fighting against everybody. She is here to, it's a kind of an aggressor card. She, she wants a fight. Fighting. She's out there to fight. So let's see in the middle. The hanged man. The devil. Oh, two major arcanas and uh, very badly. Every card now is uh, except maybe this one badly aspected. Oh, victory card. So now uh, the ten, uh, the nine of cups and the uh, six of uh, swords are very badly aspected, including this uh, uh, hanged man. And here's the ten of uh, wands. This is an ending card. This is the last challenge before an ending. Devil, uh, there is nothing positive I can say about the devil. Here, the next three cards, which looks into the future, are quite positive. The three of cups the six of uh, pentacles and the six of wands so two sixes here uh, celebration victory uh, here is uh, generosity receiving money a uh, charity and here is a uh, celebrating party so this looks into the future but now i will come to that so uh, i asked if uh, megan is telling the truth with the devil next to the hanged man what would you uh, assume even if you don't know how to read cards and so on she is telling lies this is, there is nothing I can say positive about this spread here, this layout. She thinks she, ah, she thinks she tricked or she's self-satisfied here. And because it's badly aspected, she thinks she tricked the people into, you know, believing her story. Hanged man, hanged man is the traitor with the devil, uh, very ne negatively as, uh, aspected, leaving shores negatively. Some people say it, uh, say that she is uh, the reason behind uh, the leaving of the royal family that Harry moved to the uh, U.S. In a way, it is. Here, the Ten of Wands, it's uh, an ending card. 
a fire energy and that means that uh, she has a lot a, a really big burden to carry on to the future to her next path she is she will uh, enter leaving shores I don't see that she will stay in the US or that could also indicate uh, that she was forced to leave the royal family here with the devil here no she was not forced it was her own decision and she dragged along uh, Prince William and he, uh, not Prince William sorry Prince Harry and it was with devious means she really told him lies that she was you know like um, treated badly but uh, I was asking is this the truth in the docuseries what Megan is talking no it's a lie and it seems like that she will tap money out of the royal family I will come to a bigger reading in a second she will tap money out of it's uh, not Prince Charles, King Charles now. She will have a victory about that. She will tap out money out of the system of the royal family. Somehow her lies and all what she is inflicting the family. But she has a, a hard work before her. It's like as she is, uh, tells them, I will leave. I will give every, you know, my titles away. I will give, uh, I will uh, give Harry away let him free if you give me a monetary incentive and she will receive it because here's the six of uh, wands interesting so that was my fir uh, first reading about Harry and Meghan about the docuseries only now I will do a second reading and um, and this is um, because I have written down a few things and uh, the second or third reading but the second reading in a sense because uh, the two other readings were the same question but for different people and now my uh, question is what do Harry and Meghan want what do they want what do they want and this time I will do a, a different uh, spread chariot victory also movement High Priestess, again, a major arcana, the Hermit, three major arcanas here, and the Page of Swords. So this is for Harry and this is for Megan. Ooh. Oh. And the last for Megan. Oh, Megan wants big money. King of Pentacles. So, one, two, three, Four major arcanas. The star is the hopes and wishes card. It's an Aquarian card. So her wish, she is now, ah, what she's doing, her strategy. Chariot, movement, victory. She is now keeping a bit stumm and silent and waiting. This is a patience card. For, Me uh, for, her, uh, for Megan, it's like she has waited enough from her perspective to get her hopes and wishes true. And this is big money she wants. King of Pentacles, there is not a higher uh, money card. She's only there for the money. Nothing for else. And Harry, what he wants. Victory is also a movement. High Priestess, secrets and knowledge. He wants the secrets of the royal family out. There are secrets which are hidden. Hermit, Hermit is the uh, searcher of knowledge and wisdom. Here, two major arcanas and very important major arcana cards on Harry's side. He wants to really the truth to be out. He's searching for knowledge and he's alone. Actually, Megan is not supporting him. She is not supporting him to get the truth out. She is only there for, uh, to, you know, get her uh, purse full of coins. But he is really there. He's not for money. He is really not there for money. He is there to get the secrets, the truth out about the royal family, about his history, about his ancestry, about his DNA, about everything what's related to him and to the royal family. And here the page of swords, the last card, which is actually the um, 
what uh, will happen oh i didn't say what's uh, below that is the ace of wands fire action yes they want uh, uh, action they want something to happen and here you can see uh, megan wants money and here the page of swords as i said pupil learning air air is nothing which you can mm, it's more a philosophical card and as i said pupil he wants a fresh start somehow but more in sense of um kind of a uh, utopian you could say utopian values more than solid um nothing you can it, which is not tangible it's like taking a new approach a philosophical approach looking for other things than materialistic things actually not bad for harry i have to say uh, harry has good cards he's not the villain as we are as the media portrays him he's really there to get out the truth so these were two uh, quick readings so the next one, I uh, ah now very important for me. Uh, I want. I'm really curious about that. If you may have noticed, I think I have not done a reading about that, which is you know the divorce. Um, uh, how should they say speculations, rumors, gossip around uh, that uh, Harry and Meghan are divorcing. I did it like very first readings. I remember. I think it's one or two years ago that. They already were not together somehow. That they were already, you know, separated somehow, but they couldn't make it public. Somehow, I don't know, remember, but I didn't see them as a couple. Could be, you know, something foreshadowing that um, they are not together anyway, or will not be together. Again, Knight of Swords. There would be a battle, any battle, you know, a battle about the children, battling about the about you know the divorce settlement anything like this and my question is will they divorce it would be a 2000 i wouldn't put a date on that um uh, of course you know if we take it from a 25 year perspective uh, possibility of divorce is very high but i will look for 2023s will we get an announcement or news or information that there is some kind of separation already happening high priestess it's kept secret the burden ending card ten of wands here in the background then the hermit being in solitude searching for wisdom smoke and mirrors i can come to them a generosity card the Six of Pentacles, then there's a Page of Swords, I get it again and again and again, and then here's the Ace of Wands, yeah, they will get, uh, you will get information and patience. So, shall I tell you, uh, I'm asking them, 2023, will they divorce or will they have any, uh, if we get out in the media information that they are separate, not living together and so on. They are keeping this very hidden, that they are not together anymore. Smoke and mirrors, it's all what we are presented with is absolutely uh, not the truth. Absolutely not the truth. They are not together. Here's the hermit already. A single, single man, single woman. Smoke and mirrors, heavy burden. It's, uh, you know, uh, all their uh, actions, their energies, they are bundled together not to divulge or to get the um, information out that they are both single people and it's all about money they want to get it's it, you know if this is a high scale or high prominent vip kind of status who have a lot of money a divorce settlement is quite uh, risky and also has to do to find a balance here you can see the balance that he is raising it's like as the as the lawyers attorneys are thinking about how to find a settlement that equal parties uh, that each party is not betrayed somehow 
Here, uh, a kind of a new beginning page of swords, learning and ace of wands. Yet yeah, it's a wands is a yes, action will be taken and there is a silence card. For me, it looks like as they are already separated. It's all what we are presented is smoke and mirrors. We are just, uh, you know, there is a huge illusion about them as a couple. There is a, a yes, they will, uh, we will find out because uh, Swartz is also the media communication, we will find little droplets about the separation. And uh, here again, the four of Swartz, again, media, the media will be quiet somehow. It could also mean that the media have the knowledge already, but they are not informing us about that. So this was my reading about uh, the divorce, possible divorce, separation of uh, Megan and Harry doesn't look uh, good in a sense for them so now I will do a, another reading and this is Harry and Meghan outlook for 2023 so how because I could do a big zodiac reading now, you know, but with the months and so for the next 12 months. But I will do a different one. Uh, I will do the one, the layout I always use. So, Outlook, Harry and Meghan 2023. I have shuffled the cards. I will now cut the cards. Below that is the Justice. Is justice being spoken or is justice happening for this couple? Justice is all about justice. Are they justified? Is Are they not? Oh, this is a, a diverse card for me. Or there are a few major uh, cards which don't uh, show uh, positive things. Here is the Eight of uh, Swords. This is about... Um, abuse, being uh, captive, uh, being uh, not able to speak and move. But here, every card which comes up is now badly aspected. A smoke and mirrors. The fool, badly aspected. The heavy burden, badly aspected. Ending, ten of wands. The star, unfortunately, also badly aspected. Harry's and Meghan's 2023. What did I have here was justice. Queen of Swords, then the Magician, oh, and then the King of Pentacles. <laughs> so they want justice. So as I said, uh, uh, Eight of Swords in the middle. So we have uh, air, fire, earth, and water is missing here in this. Now love between the couple. No emotions, no feelings. Oh, yes, here is the Eight, uh, the seven of a cup so we have all elements smoke and mirrors smoke and mirrors you know megan tells that she was kind of a captive in this uh, in the in the in the castle and they had you know frog castle or cottage the ceiling was so low you know that <laughs> they, they put it out as if they were living you know in a hovel <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, that I laugh, you know. Uh, that she was captive in the, you know, in the Frogmore cottage. What she expected, she didn't get. Her hopes and wishes didn't fulfill. And smoke and mirrors, this, she's lying about that. She wanted a castle, she wanted to live in Buckingham Palace, maybe, or Windsor Castle, and she couldn't get it. So she is now changing her stories and stories and stories you know to be the victim and here is a nice her hopes and wishes didn't fu be fulfilled by the royal family fool fooling us around negatively aspected her adventure she started didn't play out as she wanted heavy burden she was expected taking a lot of action you know presenting herself to the public because they were the royal couple kind of you know she was married in the royal family so she was there to make because uh, the public pays for them to make uh, uh, appearances like uh, going to charities and she didn't find that really enchanting 
she wanted to be, you know, red carpet style things, going to movie premieres, meeting the Hollywood uh, people. But that's what she didn't. That was what she was imagining her life in the royal family would be, and it was not. So next to the future, what's all coming up for them in twenty twenty three? I don't know if they will go to court. It looks like they will go to court somehow because there was the justice card before uh, below that. If they get sued or they will sue, magician has all the tools in his hands. It's like as if they have against the family something very serious in their hands. So they can blackmail them. Magician and they will. What they want more is to get money out of their royal family and they will get it. Hmm, it's like they are master blackmailers. I suppose it's more Meghan than Harry, but Harry knows how to harm the family, the royal family. There are a lot of secrets, as I said in a previous reading, and they will put everything on the table. So be surprised. Uh, be a uh, Curious what uh, that will be. I don't, won't look into that, but I will look now to another couple in the royal family and have a quick reading about uh, William and Kate. Their 2023, 2023 outlook. How does, you know, 2023 uh, look for... Prince, no, Prince William and now Princess Catherine because she's the Princess of Wales now. He's the Prince of Wales, but he was always a prince. So for him is, uh, of course, he has now more responsibilities, but his kind of status as a prince didn't change. He was and will always, until a certain time, be prince. So let's have a look into Catherine and Prince William. What will come up for the couple in 2023? This is the royal couple, actually. Oh, the high priest is very much a lot of secrets and knowledge. They have a lot of secrets, both between them or one to another there is a lot of secrets going on there or they're keeping a lot of secrets the world this is an ending card eight of wands a lot of messages oh a lost fight or one fight five of swords this is a, a small challenge ace of wands yes something is happening action and the queen of wands Fire woman celebration, three of cups. Then the Empress. I don't know. Is Kate is a bit too old already? I don't know how old she I think she's in her forties as well. This could be uh some this normally could be, you know, uh pregnancy. But it could also be a new beginning of something natural something you know building a property building you know starting planting something but could be also um, a pregnancy here with the three of celebration of something of a new beginning of some new seeds planted hmm, interesting oh trickery oh <laughs> sorry to say that seven of swords trickery trickster so they're both uh, alive in 2023 will be, you know, a lot of action. The Eight of Wands, a lot is happening, you know, a lot of mingling and a lot of information, a lot of confusing information. Some cycle, because this is a cycle which is ending. They will lose some battle or win a small battle. Queen of Wands is Earth action businesswoman here the ace of wands i will look because i will do another uh, reading in a second i don't know if charles will deceive somehow because this could also mean that 
they become not the you know king and queen but i'm not looking into deaths deaths but or this could also suggest their uh, new style or new status you know as prince and princess of wales they started with that now but it's like a mixed bag with them there will be media fights or fights and also they will have an offer somehow a lot of action is taking some one thing a cycle is ending of course they are not duchess and dutch uh, duke anymore so that cycle ended or a new cycle is starting but it will not they will face somehow um, opposition how somehow it's not like the whole nation uh, is there with open arms to welcome them it's more like they have to fight for their standing and their place in the royal family so in the public way because uh sports is air and also the media and the public somehow but the moon is missing for example this would be the people card but the world is like the whole world it seems like also they have to work much harder than they did they have to take much much more engagement and this is here the empress because here's the trickster uh, card uh, here the trickster in the sense of the seven of uh, 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 swords air energy it is like i'm sorry uh, if you are admirers of william and catherine they are not the very uh, how shall i put it the very um active royals like doing their duties of course they go to red carpets events and so on but this is counted as a royal engagement and they have to do much more and it seems like as the lady you know that uh, would be catherine it's like she is you know tricking the public by saying oh i'm a mother i have a lot of duties at home could be that she, false pregnancy narrative or something like that that she doesn't have to do a lot of public engagements but it's a trick so that she doesn't have to work hard it's really some very difficult to you know to to overcome that what i will do now we have 12 months ahead of us we can see both William and uh, uh, Catherine, the Prince and Princess of Wales, how many public engagements they will take on in 2023. Because we know all oh, Princess Anne is the hardest working royal and chapeau to her. She should get a really nice title. Actually, I don't know if there is any title there for her. She could get the duchy. I don't know if she cares about that. But, you know, because she's doing really hard work. And um, Prince uh, Charles then did a lot of uh, public engagements as well, uh, royal engagements. And this two did not do that much. You know, please don't be uh, tricked by, uh, by Catherine saying that she has a lot of duties as a mother. She has, I don't know, two, three nannies. Do you think she is like a working uh, professional, like a normal mother, working mother, cooking their food? It's all cooked. Somebody's picking her clothes, her dress, attire, how she is uh, presented in public. You know, she's always, your hair is done. She will have a hairdresser or maid or somebody else. She has somebody who does her makeup. She gets all the clothes presented to her, uh, you know, that she wants to buy. It's not like that she is really, you know, like you, for example, you know, hushing from work, home, going to the child there center or to the nanny or to a child mind that picking the child up, going home, doing dinner, making dinner and then doing the dishes and then, you know, uh, feeding the kids, singing them songs, reading a book to them and then putting them into bed, wash, bathing them and so on and so on. The next morning you have... You have not that much time for yourself. Please don't be fooled. They have 
tons of staff and also they have the money to you know do that of course maybe they are spending one or two hours a day with the children reading to them and i don't know even if they do that but uh, don't be fooled that uh, if a Catherine says that uh, she's very uh, busy because she has three children and the children are two of them are in school already so they are for six seven eight hours away and she doesn't bring them to school every morning it's the driver or some nanny or so on very formal days or you know first school day last school day or i don't know celebration days that she takes the children to school and so on but not every day so don't be fooled but i will keep an eye on that on 2023 how much she does now i will do a maybe controversial reading and this will be about the monarchy, and there is already uh, one card drop. I will take it. The three of uh, wands. It's in the middle. I will take that. And this is the monarchy for 2023. Because this dropped, I will put it there because I want to make, uh, do a different reading. And this is about William and Catherine. Sorry, it's already a long time here. I will do the timestamps, but I don't. Uh, I won't be editing something out because I don't have the patience to, you know, do the editing. It's about uh, the same. Of, uh, it takes double the time than uh, doing this uh, readings. I shuffled the cards. I will cut the cards. My question is: This will be Catherine. This will be William. My question is, will William become king? And here, will Catherine become queen? As I said, I shuffled the cards. Below that is the king of swords. Will be a decision, because I will put it together. And the three of wands is looking into the future for the fruits or the ships coming in. So it's what you sow, you will reap. And then there is the king of swords, and it's about being a... Uh, being the king. So here for William, High Priestess, Keeper of Knowledge. I will put it like this. Then the Three of uh, Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is laying out the foundation. Oh, and the Poverty card, Five of Pentacles, being left alone uh, or in the dark, out alone. Catherine is the Six of Swords. Then the Knight of Wands taking action, the Servant and Indecision, the Two of uh, uh, Pentacles. I'm asking about 2023, if they uh, William become King and uh, Kate, uh, if she will become King, uh, Queen. For 2023, no, they are not assessing the throne so that means Charles will still stay king so I don't have to look into his death or something like that but William is keeping knowledge uh, 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 keeping secrets regarding a foundation and it seems like as he has invested in business 2023 will come it will come out that he loses money we know that he has taken the Duchy of Cornwall, I think the Duchy of Cornwall from Prince Charles, who is now king. And he made a lot, Charles made a lot of investments to, to the Duchy and his Prince's Trust and also as everything. And as I understand, Prince William has taken over. He has secrets and it's the laying out the foundation, but it goes into loss of money or that he has to deal with it alone but because it's the five five are small challenges it's not a huge loss of money it's more loss of money moderate loss of money but it's a loss of money and with catherine six of swords then the knight of wands and then the kind of indecision with money oh this could mean for Catherine in 2023. So, as I said, both are not ascending the, tro the throne in 2023. 
Catherine now has to change somehow her old lifestyle. She has to take action or she's forced to take action because this is going to the past, to the back, what happened in the past. And this two of wands, uh, two of uh, pentacles, it seems like that she has to moderate her money. It could also mean, because now we have here two at these, here money cards, here's also a money card. It seems like as they are now more in the public eye, as the Prince and Princess of Wales, people look at their spending much, much more than be before. What they kept secrets with their side of investment, spending and so on, will be more now, more in the public somehow. And uh, actually Catherine here has to change her lifestyle absolutely. She has to moderate her money or to balance her money, be more frugal with her money, even though she personally thinks she is much more rich and powerful than before. From the title status it is, but people see her more as this, uh, the servant who has to work for the public, for the king and country in a sense. And she will have her difficulties to change her behavior somehow. She has to watch her possessions somehow. She can't spend that much as she did before. But my question was, uh, will uh, Kate uh, or Catherine become queen in 2023? No. Will Prince William become king in 2023? No. But they have some things happening to them. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, watching and for tuning in. I know it was a really, really long reading. But I had to do some catch-ups I because I didn't do a reading for a long time. I wish you all the best for 2023. I will do a big uh, reading in uh, a couple of days. Actually, I will do it in the new year. And then uh, I hope to see you in 2023. As we say here in Germany, Guten Rutsch. That means have a good slide into 2023. I hope um, you will uh, celebrate at the last day of the year and I hope your new year, I don't say it now because the new year, year has not come, I will do it in my next reading, but wish you all health and happiness and prosperity for now. Thank you and see you next time, see you next year actually. <laughs>